I'm Chrissy from Up the Liney Lane, and we're gonna stake and prune tomatoes today. Good morning, it is a hot one today, but I wanted to get this done really quickly. I am going to stake up some of my tomato plants that are falling over. I hadn't been able to get to it yet. So I'm gonna show you how I stake and how I prune today. Uh, these here that are just kind of falling over everywhere, they've kind of been neglected a little bit. And uh, I'm just gonna share with that. I had to scrounge around for some fence posts, but I think we're good to go. All right, let's get started. So I've got my stakes, and I also have a post hole, a fence post driver. This comes in really handy if you don't. Um, you could use maybe rebar, something that's gonna be really sturdy and gonna go in the ground really well and hold up these tomato plants. As you can see right now, what I have is I have these uh, hoops on each end right here. And I did have the string tied to that, but that is not working, as you can tell. Um, you can tell these are all just kind of falling over. Uh, I do have, luckily, a panels. I have panels over here. So I'm just going to kind of zip tie them a little bit over there, and that's going to do there. And then I think I'm going to do what they call the Florida weave on this side, kind of. All right, that's pretty good, pretty sturdy in there. I just put it all the way to the end, and uh, we'll do the other end, and we'll get our weave going. So I do have part of this tied like I showed you earlier. I do have part of this, let me show you. This is strung, but it falls down. And of course, this is slick, so it's just gonna fall down. So I'm just gonna cut all these and redo them. I doubt I'll be able to, well, I might be able to. Might just be able to cut them, pull them over here, and uh, tie them, I don't know. Then again, maybe not. You really wanna do this when they're like smaller. Like this plant, see how big this plant is? This plant is pretty good size. So, yeah. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have to really uh, work on this. Get this uh, done up. So I may have to actually like zip tie this up a little bit to kind of hold it while I get the weave through here, whatever. See, like right there, I got a little worm. I don't know if you can see him. Um, maybe down too far got this little worm hanging on right here this is one reason why I want to get these up because they're all kind of laying down and I can't see as well that way I can open this up a little bit and uh, make sure that everything's getting plenty of air and that I can see if I have pests in here so let's see all right I guess I will need to get the other side as well because I can see there is some laying down over there so we'll do that and then get uh, going and then trim and get look for some pests I guess all right I went to grab the zip ties so I'm gonna get these this side zip tied up a little bit and then get all this done All right, change of plans. I'm gonna go ahead and prune these because some of these that I'm pulling up are actually um, suckers and I don't want those on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim these up a little bit on this side and then uh, put them where they're supposed to go. All right, so there's actually quite a few down, and so I got that over there. I got those, let's see if you can see those, right over here. Uh, I got those cleaned up and uh, trimmed, I think, for the most part for right now. Now, I usually, if the pieces I trim off are okay, I usually just lay them on the bottom. They will die in this heat. They will uh, dry up really quickly, and then I've got some extra mulch down there. 
Uh, so we're going to do this side and get this one uh, in the weave. And uh, there's actually quite a few tomatoes on these, so they're kind of heavy. And should have done this like, you know, probably last month or something. Alright, let's see. I don't really want to like stir the plants up. Some weeds in here that need to be pulled. Those I just pull and uh, throw down as well. I do have some things planted in here though that aren't doing super great because they haven't had a whole lot of sunlight, I guess. There, let's see where these all go here. Oh yeah, like this one's a big one. Yeah, see? Should have done that one a long time ago. That one's really tall. All right, reinforcements. So they're definitely too heavy right now. So this will help hold them up at least for a little bit. Oh yeah, much better. <laughs> It is so humid out here. Um, so the benefit of doing this when they're smaller is of course you won't tear up the plant. Um, this is bent. Uh, I did knock a tomato off and um, this has tomatoes on it and so I'm gonna try to kind of weave this back in here. My weaving skills are not super great because um, I'm not getting them tight enough I don't believe. Uh, but I'm gonna go back through here and trim this up. I do have things planted underneath here as well that I need to check on. Um, I don't think they're done. I don't think they've been getting a whole lot of sun. But let's go ahead and trim because some of this may actually trim off the uh, hornworms. And if not, then I'll go back and look at those and go ahead and get those off and feed those to the chickens. But I'll show you what I'm talking about when I'm talking about trimming the tomato plants. So if you can see this right here where the stem comes up and then we have the leaf, the foliage, and then we have this right here coming out between the main stem and the leaf. This is a sucker. This will actually produce a whole nother plant. So this is what I sometimes, which I have done and I can show you those, but I will take these and I will put these in water and these will actually root and then I will have new plants. So I actually have another succession of tomato plants going now that are from suckers. I didn't have to start them from seeds. So it kind of gives me a little bit of a head start. Now I am going to go down a little bit and I'm going to cut some of these leaves off. If they're, um, you know, intertwining, I am going to cut those as well because that will allow more airflow and uh, less disease that way. So I'm going to go up pretty high, uh, especially where we've got tomatoes down here, and just kind of look and see if we have any of the hornworms. And this will kind of take some of the weight off as well, and kind of help me <laughs> to see, and again, you know, the airflow. Just got to be careful not to cut off the actual tomatoes. If you use zip ties, you definitely want to not tighten them all the way, kind of give the plant a little bit of room to breathe. When you're looking at your plants to see if you do have pests, you can look for worm poop. And I'm gonna show you that, and that will tell you that you more than likely have a little critter above where you find that at. So I don't know if you can see that, but in that leaf, there are little pieces of worm poop. And so then you can go up and you can look and see if you have one. 
Now I know I have a couple, at least one, because I did see it earlier, but I'm also trimming all this off, so I'll have to go back and look and uh, see if it's still there. The when they're really small, they're really hard to see. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed those few tips um, and hanging out with me out here in this crazy humid morning. I don't even, it's not even 10 o'clock yet. Maybe, maybe nine o'clock. Uh, so I've got these kind of strung up. I've got those zip tied over there. There is more airflow. I can see what's going on now, so that's good. I can see if I have critters and I can feed those to the chickens. And um, I do have some over here I'm gonna look at. I'm probably just gonna stake for right now trim them up a little bit uh, these were kind of stunted and they're kind of now just now kind of taken off so that is what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna head back inside and probably find some stuff to do inside while it is super hot we're actually under a heat advisory warning uh, for like the middle of the day when it gets really really warm so uh, we could really use some rain hopefully that's coming in the forecast <laughs> but anyways I'm gonna hop off here I'm gonna go get the rest of my stuff done I hope you uh, enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to be lovely lights today